I love science. In my book, Mind to Matter, I review over 400 studies showing that your mind literally affects the molecules of matter around you. But where the science really comes home for me is in the stories of people who apply these principles and techniques in their lives and see them change. At a recent retreat I did, there was a 70-year-old woman called Sally. Sally had severe hip problems and she walked very painfully with a cane. She'd put her cane down in front of her, lean heavily on it, take one halting step, and then take another step. Then the cane, one step, and two steps. She walked very painfully in this way all the way through the retreat center. But then after a couple of days, I was talking to somebody in the hallway, and there was Sally just striding through the hall, no cane. <laughs> I said to her, Sally, where's your cane? She said, I don't need it anymore. She'd done the inner work and seen these remarkable effects at the level of a material body. So I urge you to not accept your limitations. Believe that as your mind changes, as your consciousness changes, as you apply those techniques I describe in Mind to Matter, that your physical reality and the molecules of your body can shift and be healthy as well. Your mind has the ability to affect the material world to a remarkable degree. In my book, Mind Matter, I describe some fascinating experiments with plant growth. In these, the researchers took water and they had healers pray or bless a batch of water. They then watered plants with the blessed water and ordinary water. And they found that those plants watered with blessed water grew twice as fast and twice as high. So bear this in mind that you have that ability to bless the world around you. You can bless the water you drink, bless the food you eat, bless the air you breathe today, and know that you have this superpower that as you hold love and kindness and blessing and compassion and goodwill and joy in your heart, you're literally able to shape water molecules around you air molecules around you and shift the material world you live in purely by the quality of your consciousness. Use this superpower today to create a beautiful world around you, one full of love, full of kindness, and full of compassion. It's your superpower. Use it wisely. The science of how mind affects matter is quite remarkable and one of the places this shows up is in water. Experiments with water show that it can change significantly based on human consciousness. There of course are two different kinds of molecule in water. There is a big oxygen molecule bonded to two small hydrogen molecules. That's H2O and scientists can measure the angle of that chemical bond. It's actually 104.5 degrees. But when healers bless water, when healing touch practitioners hold water in their hands and have the intention of it blessing and healing people, that molecular angle changes. I'd invite you to get deep into the science behind water and also apply this in your life before you drink a glass of water or a bottle of water, bless that water, hold healing intentions in that water, bless your food, bless your body, in fact, bless everything around you, because research shows that that's literally affecting the molecular bonds of the molecules in the food you eat, in the water you drink, in your body, and everything around you. You have this superpower to change matter purely by thought, by the quality of your consciousness. Use it. Bless everything around you and habituate yourself to a life in which blessing is your lifestyle. Blessing is your default setting. You wake up in the morning, you bless your body, you bless the water you drink, you bless the air you breathe, you bless the food you eat, and in doing so, 
you spread that wonderful energy of kindness, of compassion, of goodwill, all throughout the molecular substance around you. Energy shapes matter, and your energy literally conditions the matter around you. In a remarkable series of experiments I describe in my book, Mind to Matter, a pioneering scientist called Harold Saxton Burr took eggs, single-celled eggs, and he marked which end of the egg was positively charged and which end was negatively charged. And he found that as that egg multiplied and grew and became a full-fledged organism, that the positive side was always the head and the negative end was always the tail. He also found that the energy field of the whole adult animal was present even before it was there in matter. Energy shapes matter. So today, think of your energy. Think of the energy you're running through your body, through your mind, through your consciousness, because it's shaping everything around you. Take a moment to breathe. Perhaps breathe with me now. Put your hands over your heart. Close your eyes. Center yourself. And feel your heart. Let your breath flow in and out through your heart. Feel the love in your heart. And know that as you shift your energy in this way, you're literally shifting the molecules of matter, not just in your body, but all around you. Give yourself the gift of a heart full of peace, of compassion, of joy, and know that it extends far beyond your body and your consciousness to affect the whole world around you. One of the phenomena that's become incredibly important in biology is the phenomenon of neural plasticity. The discovery that our brains are rewiring themselves moment by moment based on the signals passing through our neural bundles. Now this has two sides to it. One, the positive side of neural plasticity means that if you're passing the signals of love, of kindness, of compassion through your brain every day, then those circuits grow bigger and stronger and better at carrying information. But if you're mired in anger and frustration and guilt and blame and negative emotions, then those neural bundles and the stress parts of your brain get bigger and stronger. So I urge you to use this immense power you have to literally shape the structure of your own brain by thinking positive thoughts today. Right now, think about a positive thought that you will use to replace every negative thought you have today. Don't wait till you're lost in a negative thought, then try and find a positive thought. That's hard. Write down a positive thought right now with which you will replace every negative thought you think today. Put that in your purse or your wallet or tape it to your computer monitor, a place you'll see it. Make it the background of your phone so that you remind yourself over and over and over again today to stimulate those neural bundles that are filled with the signals of peace, love, and joy, and rewire your brain in that positive way. Thank you. In my new book, Mind to Matter, I talk about over 400 scientific studies showing the effect of mind on the matter, especially the matter of our physical bodies. But what I love most is the stories that illustrate the effect of mind, energy, and consciousness on the matter of our bodies. One of those stories is the story of Janice. Janice was treated by a friend of mine called Dr. Bill Bankston, and she had a condition that resulted in her having a lot of difficulty with her reproductive system. She had what's called ovarian torsion, which means twisted fallopian tubes, and also cysts on her ovaries. An operation was scheduled to correct the problem, but it carried the risk of her becoming infertile. She was less than 30 years old, and she certainly didn't want to risk becoming infertile the rest of her life. 
So she elected to have energy healing and she had a series of treatments by my friend, Dr. Bill Bankston. When they took the final scan, just before the operation, the surgeon emerged from his office with two scans in his hand and he looked very puzzled. He said, there are cysts in this scan, there are twisted fallopian tubes in this scan, and there are no twists in this scan and no ovarian cysts. They canceled the operation. That's the power of the mind to heal. That's the power of your consciousness to heal. And I urge you to use your consciousness that way. Fill your awareness, fill your energy field with love, hope, joy, compassion, kindness. When you do that, you literally are triggering changes in your body that can have wonderfully beneficial effects down to the level of your cells. Your brain is rewiring itself moment by moment and neuron by neuron based on the thoughts you think and the emotions you have. This is illustrated beautifully by a story in chapter one of my book, Mind to Matter. It tells the story of an Australian TV journalist called Graham Phillips. He was a skeptic, didn't believe much in meditation, mindfulness, and all those things, but he went on an eight-week journey into exploring and practicing these techniques. He found that he felt much calmer and more peaceful after two weeks. A group of scientists measured his brain before and after that eight-week process. They found that the volume of neural tissue in his brain changed substantially in those eight weeks. But the most remarkable finding was that the part of his brain that governs emotional regulation, it's called the dentate gyrus, it grew by 22.8% in just eight weeks. That's the speed at which your brain can remodel itself based on your emotional experiences, your mental thoughts, and your consciousness. So I urge you today, send yourself, feel good about yourself, meditate, tap, do all those things that make you feel good and put you at peace. It's not just a mental experience, it's happening in your body, it's happening in your brain, as the software of your consciousness creates the hardware of your body. I have been involved in dozens of scientific studies published in peer-reviewed medical and psychology journals. But the very first experiment I ever did was in second grade, where under the direction of my science teacher, we took bar magnets and looked as we sprinkled iron filings around them and saw those iron filings shape themselves according to the magnetic field around that magnet. Now, recent research shows that you are a magnet. Your body is electromagnetic. It has a field around it, and that field is shaping the molecules of matter around your body, literally, just by you being who you are. Now, as you pass different signals through your mind, then you're shifting the field around you, and you're shifting the molecules around you as well. When you pass signals of kindness and love, and compassion and joy through your mind, then you're creating a field around you, a huge field that carries the energy of all of those positive emotions. But if you're sunk and stuck in anxiety or resentment or anger or blame or guilt or shame, you're also then influencing those fields around you and producing that kind of shape to your own personal magnet. So bear this in mind, and today, Feel those feelings, deliberately induce that consciousness that brings love and kindness and joy into your mind, then your field will reflect all of those wonderful characteristics automatically. We've all been impressed by superheroes in the movies who can do amazing things like change their bodies or acquire mental brilliance. But I have to tell you that science now shows that you have a superpower, and that is the ability to literally change your brain. As you pass signals through neural bundles, they're growing, 
and the neural bundles you aren't using are shrinking. Just the way when you work out in the gym, you grow those muscle groups you're using and the ones you aren't using atrophy and decay. The same process is happening in your brain moment by moment and you are literally using your mind to create your brain. So that's your everyday superpower and I urge you to use that superpower to send the signals through those neural bundles that carry the images of love, that carry visualizations of peace, that carry the sensations of well-being, that carry compassion, love and kindness. As you do that, those neural bundles get bigger and bigger and bigger with your mind, with your awareness. You're literally then creating a brain that's hardwired for peace, for love, for kindness. You then become a resilient person. That becomes the hardwiring of your brain. You have the superpower. Use it every day to create a brain that's wired for love and for happiness. Thank you.